Uh, anyways, besides that, so about 118 bucks for the month. Then I paid to get the URL, the DallasHomesForCash.com. That was literally a dollar. It cost me literally a dollar and one cent because of tax. Um, so 1.01 is how much it cost me to get DallasHomesForCash.com. That way, I just wanted to feel better because the, the previous URL was uh, sell my home fast dash dfw dot and i was like uh i don't want this to be about me because i had that domain pr previously for a different thing i don't want this to be about nate trillo i want this to be dallas homes for cash so i went out and got that um and then my biggest thing now oh the, the next development i'm gonna do along with ads is i'm, I'm gonna do a bounty for reviews so i'm gonna um probably come in the chat and ask people to um for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, I'll buy their lunch or something to come leave a five-star review uh, that's character-based. Not like, um, oh, I don't want people to lie and say like, oh, I sold my house with Trilla and blah, blah, blah. You can buy you reviews want, and customize them. Yeah, yeah. I just want to, uh, I want people to come in and just, you know. It's better to do it organically. Like, you know, other people yeah, that have or, reviews on their profiles instead of bots that have nothing and were just created. Exactly, yeah. I want people to come in and actually leave a legit review about anything that they might know about me as a person that might apply to this business rather than uh lying and saying like yeah i sold my house and i made this much money or whatever um uh, but the, the purpose of that is because i want that to rank excuse me let me show you. i want those reviews just to kind of show up you know whenever you're looking at like businesses or whatever you'll see like how many reviews do they have and what's their average rating you know i just want something on the scoreboard um to put me on there okay so that's what I got going on, along with just make just probably gonna make another batch here of posts. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on reels instead of just graphics. I just wanted these to just to kind of build this little initial grid. But now I'm gonna go ahead and probably put together a second batch here tonight. That, and then schedule. Nate, you're, it. Go ahead. You're good at this. As in, how long did this take you? Is are you been working on this for quite some time, or are you able to pop these out quickly? Are you talking about wholesaling? No, no, the, I'm talking about what you're doing in terms of branding. How long have you been working on this for quite some time or? Not long at all. I'm going to tell you right now, okay. today is November 26th. I found out what wholesaling was on October 10th. So yep. it's been about I'm a month. I'm asking because I want to funnel some work your way. I have mm -hmm. nine clients that are asking in regards to wholesaling websites. And if you like doing those, I will funnel them to you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the time to sit down and do it. Neither does my Kaz, team. So. Kaz was there whenever I made the website in two days. It was yeah. like... One day I didn't have the website, and the next day I had this, like what you're looking at right now. Um, yep. And Kaz was there when I photoshopped like this, this image, like and everything, like me in front of the like. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Like, what do you so use? Cool. Do you do you take advantage of what Adobe Acrobat and Canva mostly? Canva's easy, but whenever I'm doing something like um, you do more Adobe advanced, I'll, Creative I'll use Cloud. Photoshop. I use like Photoshop, yeah. yeah. Um, Again, because again, that's where I'm really like experienced with like uh, is with uh, video design, graphic design, things yep. like that. Nature. You have a marketing like, degree, just out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. I have a communicate bachelor's in business. communications and technology. Oh, awesome! Hell yeah! Minored in psychology, so. Yep. Um, oh wow, dude! Holy shit! <laughs> so, again, uh, Kaz always hypes me up, saying that man, Nate, if if I can do this, you can. No, do it. you I'm, are man. You you're a smart individual. <laughs> I, I appreciate that, Kat. Uh, I appreciate that, Chris. But now, someone asked me earlier, did, have you closed a deal yet? The answer is no. And I'm really proud of that because I'm not lying. You know what I mean? Um, right. it's, and it's going to feel that much sweeter whenever I, I can say, yes, I did, you know, or I have. But uh, I guess last little thing, that way I'm not talking too much, is I uh, start, I found, I know the exact date I, found, I first found out what wholesaling was. On October 9th, I had no idea what wholesaling was. On October 10th, I saw a video from Tyson Smith saying that you could sell a house without ever owning it. And I was like, what? That sounds pretty scammy. And then I looked into it and I was like, is this legal? And then as soon as I found out that this was a thing, I was like, I could do that. <laughs> and I was like, um, but so yeah, it's, it's been about a month and 16 days since I first found out what wholesaling was. The first two weeks, I basically hey. just was all in. Like I was just all in, I was like learning everything. Yeah. I need um some kind of honest opinions on this. I've been working on this on Canva. It's a burner, or well, it's a burner sign, but it's for um. Who's talking right now? Who is this? This Who's PC talking? is popping. That's what I like to see. Uh, Who's talking? Oh, it's Zeus. 
I have a yeah. I have. Some, I want someone to review this real quick because I have something working. Sure, Go sure. I don't know if I need to add anything. What cows? Or... I'm gonna post what? this on a Facebook group. What cows meal? I didn't say anything. Someone said Chris dead ass. Do you think yeah, this is too me. simple or is this, this is good? Shut up, sweeps. <laughs> <laughs> God, dude, I'm fucking you server me. Honest up. opinions on this. Definitely. Uh, is this for Facebook, Instagram? Yeah, it's for for Facebook. Okay, so what I would do is go up to the top left where it says design. I cannot watch stream. No, here's what I would do. Click add click add page under your design. Colors are clashing, by the way. That's correct. But click uh add page under your design. Do you see where it says add page Zeus? Under your design. Uh, your oh yeah, right here. Yep. All right, now go to the top left search bar and type uh Real estate. Yeah, use a template for sure. Okay. I would probably... Oh, wow. Probably, I didn't even see this shit. Yeah, so start with one of those. And the reason I said... Honestly, added, one right there. That one right there. Use that one. The top one, yup. Now, remember... Use that you, one. Oh, wow. I didn't, yeah, I didn't see this. And create, and create remember, your own aspect your, to it. Hold on. Now, Zeus, your messaging is you buy homes cash, or you buy houses cash, but the bottom is basically marketing a house for sale. But what I'm trying to establish is that you can use these templates to go off of and change it to your messaging. So, in exa for example, up on the top left, instead of find your premium real estate, you could say, we buy houses cash, and then blah, blah, blah. So if I can direct everyone's attention real quick to mine profile, I'll even show you sort of how I'm doing this. Again, this is free, okay? You don't have to have any more money than I do in order to do this. Um, basically, Canva.com is free. And it's very easy to use, even with even though I have a graphic design. I use both Canva. It's like Canvas without the S. Okay. So what I'll the, for the I'll for the pro membership though, for sure. It's only fifteen bucks. Yeah, I mean, I have pro membership. Again, um, you know, that's up to you if um, you need it. More people. There's a problem. More people are trying to join the VC, but they can't because you guys are sharing your screen, bro. I understand? Uh, no, it's but, his, it's his face cam. Oh, okay. Turn off your face cam. Okay, okay. And um, whoever was in the middle of making their bandit sign, uh, just so you guys know, uh, just so you, wherever you're buying them from, go find the sizing, translate that sizing to pixels, and then resize your Canva document so that it's it's perfect size. Otherwise, you're gonna have to deal with cutting. No, and this is a nightmare. Yeah, this isn't uh, for bandit. This is just for Facebook. I feel like this is. Oh, 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 oh okay. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought it was a bandit this is, sign. This is more. Yeah, this is more simple. Like people look at this. It's like. Oh, what's right? What's right in front of Nate? What he's showing right now is perfect content. Perfect content. So again, so, so one thing you'll notice about mine, Zeus, uh, and it, for you to apply to your own, is that you'll notice there's not a single color orange or a color purple or anything. It, it's not because those colors suck. What I'm saying is these colors, they're all the same. I'm on brand. There's a branding color palette. You see what I'm saying? So every. Uh, everything down to the logo it's not just blue it's a specific shade and hex code of blue um even when you go uh, to like the website blue and what? Or blue and green? yeah that's me but i'm not saying use blue and green i'm saying there's a there's an overall consistency with the with the brand itself so like even on my when you go to the website the buttons are green the logo is that same shade of blue um, how long this took to make a day Wow. If you're curious about how I did it, there's a convenient link for you in this very Discord that you paid your good hard-earned money in under the website design channel. When you go to the wholesaling category, I've given, I've given you everything you need to build this for yourself in probably 24 hours or less. Um, and it's, there's a Black Friday deal okay, going on right now. I had to pay $110 a month for this for my carrot site. You can get it for 60 With that being said... What I was trying to say is when you look at my Instagram, everything, so everything that my brand touches, everything, every online presence, everything that it has as far as an online presence, it's all consistent. You can look at the website and then look at the Instagram and you know it's like this is clearly the same person. This is clearly the same company, brand, whatever. It's all on theme. Okay. Um, even when you go to like the Google profile, hold on. Uh, yeah. Right now I got to type this one in. Okay. There's, 
I'm working on this, actually. I can't control that one as much. But the Facebook, right? Go to the Facebook. It's all the same. So like the Facebook post, there's... If you looked at just this picture, you would know we're talking about Dallas, Texas. You see what I'm saying? Um, Facebook posts, right? Captions that and know who you're targeting, right? If my job... If, if my goal is to get more leads from sellers, uh, then I need to figure out who those sellers are. They're homeowners, distressed properties. I'm using words, uh, captions that really like um, talk about, target those people. For example, this post is, what's the biggest reason you haven't sold your DFW home yet? You know, just try to get people talking. Um, sometimes Maybe I'll make a post about closing costs. What are they? What, this one's actually a fun little spin that I put together. Um, instead of the actual definition of saying what closing costs are, it's, it's, look at the definition. It says, um, what you would usually pay when selling your house with a real estate agent, which means less money for you. With us, we pay the closing costs. So as you can see, this isn't the actual definition, but this is driven to um, make people think about the benefit of selling with us. You can even implement memes. You see what I'm saying? Like, even if you don't think it's like funny, ha ha, if it's just something cute that you can put together um, that makes just a little bit of sense as far as the messaging, you can use that and apply it to your brand. So like, for example, no, it's just no, a bunch of old people uh -huh, dancing. Creative. And this is Dallas Fort Worth homeowners after selling their home to us without having to pay. And we're, we're targeting mm -hmm. the, um, the reason why someone would want to sell with us. Okay. I'm even, yeah, wait, hold you know, on. Have you had people uh, slide up and ask? The answer is no. And just like how when you guys ask me, hey, Nate, have you sold a deal yet? Or have you closed a deal yet? Or has anyone slid up? The answer is no, but ask me in a month. So that answer is going to keep, I'm going to keep saying no until it's yes. Okay? I'm just telling you, again, uh, Chris and Kaz have, have kind of, you know, appreciated these kinds of efforts. I can't really Absolutely. speak for them. You should be, honestly, guys, this is... You guys should be appreciative of this to the fullest extent. Very appreciative. 20 minutes that Nate is sitting here spending right now, he could be going and, and charging someone $5,000 to present this to someone. Like, I, I'm being serious. Like, you I guys literally... have no idea. You guys do not get knowledge for free. And I'm, you're getting it right here. I'm, I'm shocked that he's showing you as much as he is. I really am. So, you know, you oh, guys it... take every, everything he's telling you, you know, don't take it as a grain of salt, please. Like, listen. I, this I, is I... your learning and mentorship. And he's not even Bro. a student. And he's doing it right. Like, there's Bro, only one way. Literally, it's crazy because I literally tell these people this every single day. And Nate, you know this. Yo, Nate is the only one doing it right. right. If y'all don't listen don't to him. To and then at, at all, really. And he's doing it himself. Literally. And then I'll, everyone's like, oh, Casmo, your dick's sucking. Your dick's sucking, bro. Not I'm being dead ass. This is the only it's, one it's, doing it's it right in the server. It's truth. I appreciate that, guys. Um, So... If I, so real quick, I want to give you guys the sauce real quick. I just want to show you how you can start doing this yourself. It really doesn't take a whole lot of time, but just like with anything, you know, there's going to be... Wait, uh, Nate, go, go to seven. Go to seven. I want to I see that. What does that say? Yeah, I'll show, I'll show you seven. Fix and flip gone wrong. Oh, that's good. You see what I'm saying? Um, He's advertising his SEO. It's smart, guys. Like, pay attention. Mm -hmm. Do you post so, like, this on your Facebook page? That's I mean, right. So, like, so, yeah. yeah. So what I do is I... I take time to batch create these posts and then I'll go to something like Meta Business Suite and schedule them throughout the week. So check this out. Like what I was saying earlier is uh, on Sunday or Saturday or Monday, whatever. I'll just take one to two hours, whatever, to go into Canva and start making materials like this. And I'll show you how easy it is. You can come up here. to match the other fonts of your other posts so like for example there's my font that i've been using everywhere else um up here then uh, something something let's chat today and then change the information to dallas uh dallas cash for homes com i'm showing you easy mode obviously what i might be doing for mine takes a little bit more uh, like i'll use my own photos things like that but come up here and i've already said you see where it says sell my home fast over here dfw my colors are already ready to go I don't need to go like try to match everything. They're all right here because I'm saving them. I know I need them quick, quickly. Come up here, change it to white. Uh, maybe change this back to that. I'll make it bigger. Okay, make it big and bold. Tell them where I need them to go. And it's like, there you go. There's a post. <laughs> like, make, 
doesn't have to be just Dallas, right? It could be anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Like, but he's, he, yeah, he's but he's targeting Dallas most. So. Yeah, I'm targeting Dallas because again, and like these are other posts that I haven't posted yet. Like, are you ready to sell your home? Or excuse me, are you ready to sell your what? DFW home for cash? Of what? course, I need help. Okay, uh, your cash offer is calling. Slide to answer. You see what I'm saying? Um, the, you can get pretty creative with it. You can get, but the point is, I have to show y'all one last thing because I again, I'm gonna beat this to death. Um, so you guys can understand why it's like, well, Nate, have you closed the deal yet? The answer is no, but so why am I doing it? I'm gonna show you. But again, this is carrot.com. This is how I'm accessing my website. But there's one thing I'm gonna show you guys, so you can sort of get this concept um, through here. And it's up to you whether you what want is to. What is this? Is this like a a, a back end or something? Yeah, this is a back end. But there's one thing here that I'm about to click on. That's um the reason why. Hold on, not that one. It's Get to know carrot. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. Da, 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 da. Okay, this chart. Some of you have seen this before, and some of you have, you know, some of you have heard me talk about this before. But I want to emphasize this again for people who are like, why? You know, if you're not getting leads and you haven't closed the deal, it's like, why? Well, again, I only started. I found out what wholesaling was a month and 16 days ago. Okay, but I've been doing social media marketing for years, years, five years, a little over five years. The yellow on this graph represents the stuff that you guys are used to hearing. Cold calling, knocking on doors, driving for dollars, right? So the yellow, that's all what we call hamster wheel marketing or hamster wheel stuff. Because a hamster, when it runs on the wheel, if it stops, that wheel's not going to go anywhere, okay? So just like if you stop cold calling and you stop driving for dollars and you stop sending postcards or stop knocking on doors, well, then you're not going to get any leads. You see what I'm saying? Um, or if like if you don't feel like cold calling tomorrow, well, then you're not going to get any new leads tomorrow or Facebook posts, whatever. But with evergreen stuff, evergreen stuff, it would be like your website or running consistent ads or content or or being able to post something every other day, every having something posted every day to where it gets on people's pages again every day, top of the mind. That's called evergreen. Uh, efforts and you can see that even though so look at look at the month of zero this is where i'm at so when you guys are asking me um nate have you closed the deal yet the answer is no because look at month zero um but as it progresses there's a there's a, a foundation being established early on as soon as i as soon as i saw like yeah there's ever there's hamster wheel stuff knocking on doors i said yes i'm still gonna do that i'm still gonna go drive for dollars tomorrow um but at the same time I'm going to do that while I have posts automatically scheduled to post throughout the week and or ads running throughout the week because at, over time, it's going to compound on itself. And think about it. When you say sell, excuse me, sell my home fast, uh, any city like Miami, because that's what, that's what people are going to search for. Sell my house fast my, Miami. Yeah, you have the sponsored posts, right? That might be me in a little bit, but somebody's ranking number one. Somebody's ranking number one on, uh, in Florida, okay? And it's this guy right here. This guy did not have to call me. You know, he didn't have to knock on my door. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, the, probably the most motivated seller out there is gonna be the person who Googled how to sell their house. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the idea, the theory, if you will, that I'm testing for y'all <laughs> Not, it's not even a test because it works. I'm just doing it for y'all. Is um, having a website. So the most motivated sellers are the ones who are going to Google how to sell their host, house. So I want to be the website that pops up when they say, um, sell my home fast Dallas. Uh, so for example, sell my home fast Dallas.
gonna pop i'm gonna get results that match me like where i'm at but think about that bro like uh I, i'm seeing so as somebody who lives in frisco texas of course my ip is gonna bring up texas home buyers cash home buyers you don't see you don't really see a lot of like we buy nationwide type deal dfw cash for homes you know it's, it's telling me things that are in my area so whenever you are marketing to nationwide you're really going real broad super broad and you're gonna have to compete with everyone else with more money than you who's going super broad like we buy houses all across america and the reason why virtual doesn't work so there you well yeah there you go um so that's why you see me really honing in because whenever you type in uh sell my home fast dallas yeah, somebody's in first place, somebody's in second place, but look at their URLs, legacybuyers.com, 419properties.com, and then me over here, I literally own dallascash.com. That's why I think that's just one of the many things you why can, I'm... I'm sorry? You can hire someone to put your domain to the first, by the way. Uh, you can get the hired. That's, I have, that, I've that, done no, it before. That's SEO. That's SEO so I, I own a marketing agency, so I'll touch on that. That's SEO services. Uh, first things first, extremely expensive. Um, and if you're not using someone who knows how to do it right, you are going to forever compete for the top like five or I, six spots. You know how you click more, see more. You'll be. A, I don't um, think. But you're not. Okay. Close to the top. Hey, so whoever said that that you can pay for someone to uh, get. That's very. It's a very broad statement to say that. What you're doing is you're paying an SEO expert professional to do their best and run their service and spe who specializes in that but you're not directly paying someone to get you number one it doesn't work like that because anybody with enough money would be able to do that i'm i'm i think you guys are really underestimating one over here on carrot.com it's not just a website builder dude it's they because why wouldn't you just use wordpress why wouldn't you just use webflow the reason why i'm saying use carrot.com is because they are specializing real estate right a marketing platform to attract, convert, and close more deals. This isn't just build a website, because if you want to build a website, this was Discord live. If you want to build a website, then just go to Webflow. But that's not, yeah, and that that's building a website. But to build a converting, SEO optimized, real estate focused landing page, that's what that's what they're here for. And I'm gonna show you one more thing, SEO is Which over is here okay? as part of the service here. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. Uh, JR Clutch. Excuse me? Hello? Who's talking? Okay, I didn't think so. Anyways, SEO settings. I mean, there's like, there's specific things. <sighs> Guys, I'm a social media marketing agent full-time. I work with the Army and Air Force Exchange as a full-time social media designer. And I'm telling you that you could just go find some guy who says he's going to put you on. Um, I don't want you guys to limit yourself to think like you have to pay to play to get start ranking um, with SEO. I'm showing you exactly what you could be doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, that's what this is for. 68.9% faster than WordPress sites, right? Uh, One million seller leads. Like this is... The only way Carrot is staying in business, it's, it's their business to specialize in making pages that convert real estate related leads. You see what I'm saying? So it's not just about, let me go pay a guy to uh, do this whenever I have my bread up. I'm, not, I'm telling you exactly how to do it right now. You know what I'm saying? Mike, um, Carrot or Canva? I'm sorry, you're breaking up. So am I using Carrot or Canva? Can 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 well, whatever you if you look at what each one does, you can see that they have different uses. Carrot.com okay. is what you will use for your website to have a website. Canva.com is how you design things online, like graphics. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Anyways, once again, I got to share this with y'all because... If you do want to do this, let me sh I'm going to post this in the VIP, not VIP. Yeah, VIP chat, but not the VIP chat. I'm talking about the VIP voice chat. This is, I've, it's been, the information has been here the whole time. It's been in the website design channel. Everything that I just said with all the links to what I do and stuff like that for this, it's right there. It's been there since November 6th. So it's been there for about 20 days now. Also, Black Friday. Um, 
I got again, I'm paying $110. You're getting it for 60, but that's only if you do it today, okay? Any questions before I hand it over to somebody else? Anything any questions? Okay. No, I really appreciate you. I'm going to leave my, um, I'm going to leave my screen yeah. up while I design, but again, I'm I'm pretty that's pretty much the spiel. Yeah, it's it's good. There's nothing wrong Easy, with it. Nate. That's fucking dope. Uh, the thing, the only thing is, uh, when it comes to advertising on Facebook, are you gonna advertise? Correct. Facebook ads, yes. Uh, and obviously, it's gonna be locally. Uh, are you you are going to use Facebook groups too, right? Like to just post all that shit. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, you can use yeah. Facebook groups too if you want, but. Facebook ads is a different target. It's a different message. When we're targeting Facebook groups, we're targeting like sellers, excuse me, not sellers, buyers, other people in the industry, things, people who might know a buyer, things like that, which really isn't crazy effective for what it's worth, for really what it is. But when it comes to Facebook ads and I'm trying to target the people who are leads, I'm not targeting real estate Facebook groups. I'm targeting, I'm going to target homeowners. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so exactly. whenever I go to my, um, w w when I start to set up my ad, my keywords might be how to sell my house versus cash buyers near me because a, a homeowner really wouldn't, I mean, they might think of that, but I'm targeting things a homeowner trying to sell their house would look up, not Facebook groups about wholesaling. Yeah. So he is right about that. I've had success with uh, a deal doing that because Facebook is actually really good to advertise your business. Um, what you can do is join a, a local like community chat, like a like for example, mine is it's called like Downriver Chat, Downriver something. You know what I'm saying? I would go in there, I would introduce myself, be like, "Hey, my name is blah blah. blah. Uh, I buy homes, cash, whatever the fuck, however you want to say it. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'm buying homes as is, cash. If if you need any." Or if you have any more questions, send me a DM and yeah, just take it from there. But it has to be a local like mom's fucking community chat, a fucking old people chat. You know what I mean? Not no fucking wholesaler real estate. Nah, it cannot be no real estate chat. If you if you know if you guys know what I mean. Like the local your local Facebook group. That's another way you can advertise yourself. Have leads come to you. And then, uh, so you guys can kind of see, Damn, if, you're still right. watching, if you're still watching my screen, you can see me literally doing this in real time. Like it t doesn't take a whole lot of time to, um, put these together. Once you know, like the resources, once you know how to use the resources, hey. I just kind of laid out for you. Hey, Chris, I just thought of a great idea. So, so you see how network is your net worth, right? Yeah. So I was thinking, I was like, I should make roles, right? When somebody joins a Discord, I know it's possible because I've seen someone do it, where, like, it gives you a role. So, like, when you uh, join the Discord, it says, like, what are you, whatever the fuck. I'm going to put, what st when, when someone joins Starfire, it's going to ask, what state are you in? When they click on their state, it's going to give them the role so they can see, oh, you're from that state, too? What's up? Smart. I fuck with that. Smart ass dope. idea. Hell yeah. Dude, about to, have, about to... have, fun, have fun adding all those roles, though. Oh, uh, I'm not doing that. I'm about to tell my man to do it. He's doing that shit. I ain't doing that oh, shit. True, yeah. Fuck. There you go. Hold on, I'll be here. I'm about to call him right now. Boom. That's money. Oh, how's the whole selling going, guys? Going well. Just drove brother. earlier. Left the nice. note. I uh, drove earlier, left to know one more time. Sorry. I drove to a property that I was looking at because um, I wasn't getting through with their calls. So I just drove there and left a note. Awesome. You know, that's definitely not your persistence. <laughs> Perfect. Re reverse driving for dollars. Bro, you know what's crazy? I was driving today. And um, there was a vacant house. I, I was with my boy Hector. He's in the car right now. Uh, that's my IRL. So we were driving today, right? And there was a vacant house, and there was fucking Amazon packages on the side. I was like, "Yo, 
Does nobody know this house is vacant? Bro, soundboard, hop off, bro. <laughs> Man. Got him. Got him. Nah, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Right now, it's like literally, literally the perfect time to ask because they ain't nobody got time to read DMs, bro. I'm gonna be 100. Right now, it's literally the perfect time. <clears throat> and uh, oh, Lee, is the only way to get inbound leads through uh, Facebook advertising? Uh, damn it, is that Jeremy? No, hey! that's not the only way. Take care of this problem. Hey, Diddy. Nah, nah. Sh- <laughs> Uh, Not uh, Jeremy. It's good. Ma, I'm, I have I have a task for you, bro. Last night, man. Last night, man. That motivation, bro, made me cry, man. So I'm not. I'm gonna give you the motivation, bro. But I'm gonna need some motivation posts from you, bro. <laughs> bro. Nah. Oh my god, bro. When I tell you, it was four in the morning, uh, Eastern time. Or in the morning, bro was fucking saying Andrew take quotes all night, bro. It was funny. I'm gonna show y'all one more thing that I went and did for my business here. Um, that's actually for IRL stuff. Um, second. Okay, so. Let me share my screen one more time. This to print. Let me see. So if, for those of you who are seeing my screen, I paid $26.71 for custom post-it notes and business cards. So whenever I do go driving for dollars or I'm out and about, I have a business card that looks like this. So it looks like this on one side. Okay, it looks like this on another side where it says stuff like behind on payments, owe taxes, blah, 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 sell to us as is. And it's got my logo, right? Everything is on brand, right? Um, even the shade of green. And then over here, these are post-it notes. The reason for the post-it notes is because whenever I do essentially go driving for dollars and I'm looking at um, pre-foreclosure, li- excuse me, I'm looking at houses that are either distressed or they're under pre-foreclosure, things like that. I'm leaving space for me to write um, a handwritten note, you know what I'm saying, on the house. And that way it just performs a little bit better statistically instead of printing a bunch of, instead of printing a bunch of notes that say, Hey, this is who we are. We're interested in buying. I'm, I have the information I need down here with the logo, but at the top I can say, hi, so-and-so I'm, I've just drove by your property at blah, 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 blah. And, uh, we're really, I'm really interested in, you know, making an offer, et cetera. So that's just 27 bucks that I did for like a hundred business cards and like 50 post-it notes. Okay. Um, and again, so in total with these things, plus the website and all that stuff and carrot, maybe it was like 150, but I don't know. That's just what I wanted to share with y'all. But yeah. Come on, come on, everybody, everybody unmute your mic, bro. ask some questions, ask some questions. Fire. Anything, Maybe anything. It don't matter if it's a stupid question. Ask it. Okay, okay, I have one. Hear me? Uh, oh, you sound, you sound like, uh, yeah, it don't sound right. Do I sound better? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this might be a stupid question, but I'm having trouble finding buyers in my area, and I just joined not too long ago, so I might have met something. But I'm having trouble finding buyers in my area. Like I just need, um, like some guidance on ways to find them, better ways to find them, I guess. So where are you from? Where are you from? Oh, hi. Like, what's your what's your? Okay, but what city? Hello. Or, uh, huh? What city? What city? And like, what? What city in Ohio? Like, well, where you're wholesaling, whatever. Um, the closest like bigger town like by me is like New Philadelphia, like Dover area. Uh, you said New. New Philadelphia, Ohio. Yeah. Okay. 
Bro, all you're going to do is literally, this is one way. I'm going to show you one way. Let me share my screen. Literally one way. But I'm like, uh, I'm like driving right now. Oh, shit. Well, to the other people that probably have the same question, uh, all you're going to do is literally go on Zillow, right? This is one way. There's multiple different ways, but I'm going to implement this in the Discord because I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to spend an hour teaching every single way, but this is one way. Uh, you can go to realtor listings in this area where, like, for example, let's say I have a house fucking under contract over here, whatever. You're going to go to one of these realtor listings and say, Hey, I see, uh, the owner did a lot of work to this house. Do you think he's interested in another house? This is also going to benefit you. Also, talk, bro. Basically, hype up the realtor because if it, if you make it seem like you're trying to like this business, it's not about you making money. You're trying to help out the buyer and help the people around you. Don't be, you know, greedy. Like this is this is not about you. You're not risking nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, um, basically, tell tell the realtor, hey, this is this is also going to help you. But this is going to benefit you in the future because once he fix and flips this house, who's he going to go to to list it? You. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just also like explain to him how's that gonna benefit him? Because these realtors are not about to go out their way to contact their buyer just so you can make money. Yeah. Also, almost another way since I'm already here on Zillow, um, you could do a house that sold in that area. Um, and then just hit up the owner and be like, "Hey, I see, I see you recently just fixed and flipped. Are you interested in another property?" Boom, easy, done. No need to, no need to JV with forks. Right, and then with that, you can just like make a list, like a buyer. Yeah. List, oh, right? also another way. Uh, yeah. Also another way you can go to um, I, 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 me personally, I've had success with this one. Uh, you go to, uh, you go to realtor dot com. Um, you type in. Wherever the fuck, uh, fuck it, Detroit, Michigan, whatever. Uh, oh shit, find you hit find realtors. Oh wow, all right, hold on. Detroit, Michigan, all right. Boom, look at all these realtors right here. All of them have a a cash buyers list. Just network with them. And like another thing, uh, maybe it could be different in other cities, but in my city, Detroit, whatever the fuck, where I'm wholesaling. It, uh, fifty percent of them, you know, are cash buyers, and yeah. Is there a way to like know, like, from who is cash buyers and who isn't, or is that just a question you have to ask realty? What do you mean by well, that? I'm lost. If you were asking them for cash buyers, why would they give you someone that's not one? And what would they have been if? Okay. Not confused? Okay. Okay. You mean like, as in like, you know, which ones are looking for, you know, which ones are qualified and, and motivated, you mean? Or just in general, as a whole? Yeah, in general, as a whole. Okay, no, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, was, I, just I, I think what he meant is like, how can you know if they have cash buyers by just looking at the screen oh, or something? Oh, you mean how can you know if the yeah. real I thought he asked yeah, how can that's, you know that's, if that's, they I had a, Yeah, I, I have the same question for that, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. that makes sense. Okay. Sorry. So basically, is anyone, are y'all going to answer the question or you want me to answer it? Oh, go ahead. So I think if I understand correctly, they were asking, like, how can you look at a listing on Zillow and, and understand if the real estate agent has a cash buyer or not? Is, is that the question? Wait, the guy no, that, yeah, hold on. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the, the, the answer is if you look at flipped property, it's the same way when you run comps. Whenever you're looking at comps in the area and you're trying to see what houses were flipped, and you're able to identify what house was flipped like clearly like in other words it was bought in february and then sold in september type deal and just look and just look at the pictures of the house if you look at the pictures and it looks like a 2023 like updated flip clearly it's like that's another sign that this was probably flipped and thirdly look at the sales history if it was sold in february for like ten thousand, and it was it was uh sold in again in september for like 100k it's like clearly this was flipped dude um so with that being said if it was flipped and then sold at a higher price well then somebody sold it and if it was sold through a real estate agent that information will be on there it'll say listed by suzanne smith and then it'll have like whatever realty group she's with 
and it'll have her number. So you would reach out to the, you would reach out to that real estate agent and say, "Hey, Suzanne, I'm just hi," or you'd be like, "Hi, is this Suzanne? I'm inquiring about a property that you listed over in freaking uh in West Virginia." on 123 Main Street. And she'll be like, yes, hi, y y yes, this is her. How can I help you? And you say, yeah, actually, so I, s I was looking at this property and I see that it's, uh, I saw that you sold this property back in September and it looks like this was flipped by an investor. Is that correct? And then she'll say, yes, indeed it was. And then you're going to say, well, great. Hey, I'm just reaching out because I have another similar property over just a couple blocks down on something, something Second Avenue. And I'm think and I'm thinking maybe your investor might be interested in it. You want, uh, you know, something along the lines of, um, you're getting her to you're getting her to ch uh, see if he's interested in another deal that he just did. In other words, do you want to just do the same thing again? Does that make sense? And the reason why she would be inclined to say yes, why would she help you? Is because that means more money for her. Is because she's gonna bring a deal from you to him, the inv or him or her, the investor and say, hey, there's this deal if you want to do that thing we did a couple months ago again and make more money. Uh, because best believe that the investor is going to choose her as the real estate agent again for that, for that flip. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes total sense. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Yeah. Great. Wait, this, wait Nate, also this, uh, for, the, for the website that Casmo just showed, like, how do we know that 50% of them have cash buyers or the real investors? What do you mean 50%? Like, like, like when Kaz said, there's fifty percent of them do have investors. Um, how do we know, like, both that one of them is part of the fifty percent that has? Kaz, do you want to speak investors? on that? I'm not sure what he means by fifty percent, Kaz. They're gonna let you know. They're gonna let you know. Like, hey, oh no, oh, we gotta invest myself. We gotta call them and ask. We gotta call them and ask. Yes, you call them. You All introduce right. yourself All and right, say, yeah, and right, you, that's, that's, that's fine. Yeah, and you say what ex exactly what I just said. Thank you. Good. Am I just an idiot, or can you not create a group conversation in Discord? <laughs> a what? I said, am I just an idiot, or can you not make a group conversation in Discord? You... What do you mean group? Like oh, a I'm group an... chat? Never mind. Never mind. I just now I feel like a dumbass. No, like what do you mean a group chat? A group? Yeah, a group message. You can't do that. Oh, you can do that. What do you mean? How? What? Direct messages. No, yeah, I see that. <laughs> Go on direct messages and hit create a DM and Oh, so I have to delete the, the old conversation of whoever it's already with from the that's weird, but I'll do it. <clears throat> or Thank that. you for that. That was such a stupid question, but I don't use Discord like enough logistically to have known that, so thank you. Welcome on. As or Nate, do you you guys if you're getting a real estate agent, are they getting involved in the deal? Like when you're tracking down an investor, or are you just trying to get an investor's phone number off of them? They're Is that what you're take, saying? They were not gonna take any money out of your assignment fee. What's gonna happen is you know how whenever you're calculating costs like closing costs, uh -huh. or realtor costs. That's already factored in. They're playing the role of the realtor. And, and you're saying the that goes on the buyer's shoulders. So correct. they're bringing their own, remember, like they might remember, have their own real estate agent type. Yeah. Remember one okay. of the biggest selling points we have to sellers on why they should work with us is we cover all costs, right? Like when yeah. we call people up, say, hey, would you like to sell your house? We'll give you 80K. We cover all clothing costs, realtor costs. You're going to walk with 80K in your pocket. Well, who's paying yeah. for the realtor then? The buyer is. The buyer. We're not paying shit. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so all of that's already accounted for whenever the buyer sees your asking price and it's like because the buyer knows they're going to have to pay yeah. the realtor or the closing and the closing costs and the repair costs the, the buyer knows that that's why it's important to understand that the asking price you're giving them and the arv you're giving them isn't what they're going to walk with that the it, buyer's thinking like damn you know i still got to pay the realtor i still got to pay for closing costs things yeah. like that um, so yeah, so to answer your question, the real, the real estate agent, that's going to be handled by the buyer in the end, whenever it gets sold, okay. it comes out of the, sold, like it comes out of the end sale <clears throat> when after it's flipped. Yeah. And you're saying most buyers or most investors are, they already accept that part, like they'll, that they'll take care of that mm -hmm. side of it, closing costs and everything. All right. Mm -hmm. mm, so, well, Nate, you personally, have you been, uh, have you been calling for buyers or? uh like doing 
you know what I mean, getting little sellers bit of both. first. Little bit of okay. both. I I stay glue I stay aware. I stay like on yeah. alert for um buyers both. who excuse me, cash buyers or investors that are like yeah. Uh, generously sharing what their buy box is. The second that I find out somebody is in my area and they're looking to like pick up four new properties, yeah. I'm right there in the comments asking, okay, what's your criteria? I think I can, you know, I'll keep you. I'm ba basically building that list. You know what I'm saying? And then whenever it comes to other people saying like, hey, I got this property that I, you know, need buyers, I'll keep an eye out. But if it's not in like my focus area, then um, there's not really a whole lot I can do if I don't have buyers either. Yeah. True. And are you looking in uh what is it for Fort Worth or whatever Texas? Like, are you doing local or did you pick a? You, I know I'm we doing talked local. About I just happen to be Dallas, yeah. Texas. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So That's I nice. figure, you know, there's no need to start in anywhere else that I can't get to myself. You know, yeah. I mean? I'd rather start right here. So if I do need to get out on the road and drive somewhere, I can. Yeah, that's a good call. Hmm. Okay, I might start uh. I might start getting, getting a foreclosure foreclosure list for sellers. They said yeah. that's like an easy way to get your first deal. What, what like I'm doing is uh, I'm, I, I use my app of choice for my mm. driving for dollars and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and what I'll do is I'll go, I'll look at the foreclosure lists from my county, which is public information. I was basically yeah. going to, I'm basically, Ugh. this is what I'm doing this week. I'm making a list of all the ones that are in pre-foreclosure yeah. um, that, that have probably like, uh, uh, an auction date of like next month, like December or something like that. Mm. And then I'm going to point them out all, you know, I'm going to pre pretty much make a route, like kind of like how paper boys make a paper route mm -hmm. with their newspapers. I want to make a streamlined, you know, route traffic, you know, kind of routine. Yeah. Excuse me. The word is route and just hit them all in the same go and uh, see what the deal is. Okay. You mean like physically, like drive for dollars physically, type route? Called driving for dollars. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because are you gonna? Yeah. Are you gonna mailbox them? What do you think? <laughs> the idea. The idea is, I like I said, I showed those sticky notes on screen yeah, earlier. Sticky notes. Yeah. Not if I, if I pull up to the property and you know I'm seeing the information right on my phone, um, that it's in pre foreclosure, or it's distress, and I see that they owe like maybe they're underwater with their loan, maybe they mm. owe like a shitload amount, and it looks distressed, and it's like, well, hey, you know, I might keep note of that, and uh, I'm not gonna knock on the door. And but I might like leave a little note saying like, hey, you know, uh, I, I was driving in the area and working with a group of investors um, wondering if you're interested in selling your house. And it, again, it, everything's already there. It would be handwritten. So it's like, it's not like a spam thing. And yeah, it, would have, yeah. it would have the specific address written on the, on, the, on the note. So it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Cash. What do you mean cash? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Mm. So this is true, like basically you don't want to start getting contracts signed until you get like a list of buyers. I'm sorry, my friend. You're, it's a little windy where you are. You'll have to say that again. Oh, sorry. Is, would it be better to just get like a whole list of cash buyers? Like, Yeah, uh, well, I, I've seen people ask that all over the internet in the short time that I've been immersed with wholesaling. But from what I see, from what I hear, it's like it goes both ways. You can... Start building your leads first and trying to find the buyer that way. But if you have the thing about having a, your buyers and knowing what they're shopping for is the moment that you see what something that fits their criteria, it's like, you know, you have a buyer for that deal. It's like, I told you that I wanted the new Air Force Ones for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then it's like the Air Force Ones are in front of me. So it's like, you don't have to text me and say, Nate, what do you want for Christmas? It's right there. You don't have to think about it. <laughs> Same thing with the house. A buyer saying, I want three bedroom, two bathrooms, must be under 200K, no sub two deals, preferably, preferably blah, blah, blah. And then if there's a seller, if you get, on, if you get a seller that matches that, and it's like, yo, you know what I mean? It's a beautiful thing. But yo, they are speaking in theory. What, uh, what app do you use for driving for dollars? That's a great question. Um, I was actually, said, um, I'd be happy to answer that. I don't think I'm in a position to answer that right now by um, the higher up. The, oh, you uh, it's showing you if it's a foreclosure, if it's uh, how much equity. You want to, you want to, no, no, you no, want to drive I, for dollars up? That, yeah. 
prop stream oh, prop stream oh, prop stream is yeah, has a drive prop stream mm-hmm. has a drive for dollars option if you go to yeah. um i can share my screen and i'll show you how fuck on that though nate what you using fam uh, everyone's using prop stream there's no i just said it nah. nah nate is that what you're using is prop stream or what, or what? I mean, that's how I got my. I, I got a contract under. Yeah, bro, bro, look at this shit, bro. Relax. Uh, yeah, I don't know what Nate uses. But... Nah, yeah, we all know about Prop Stream, uh, Drive for Dollar, and I got one okay, on my phone that's, that's better for. That's better than, you know what I'm saying, Prop Stream, Drive for Dollar, but. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh-huh. trying to. Because he's saying, cause he's saying that it's. uh, Yeah, nah. I don't know uh, what he's talking about, but it's Prop Stream. Uh, I use my prop stream. I get right now. I got thirty nine leads already. Niggas Just, is gatekeeping. I, it's, I mean, it's not gate. That's what we use. I don't know when. Like, if like, we're gatekeeping, please, please look up on YouTube everywhere, and then yeah, it's gonna say the exact same shit we're saying. Uh, what? Hold yeah, on. but what? we use we use prop stream. There's no. I mean, it's the everyone uses prop stream. He's saying he's, no saying, he's saying we're he's saying there's that we're no gatekeeping uh, driving for dollars. So there's certain aspect. What do you mean we're gatekeeping driving for dollars? I'm lost. Who's gatekeeping? We're not. No, 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 no one's. No, I don't know. No one's gatekeeping. It's literally prop stream, uh, or batch IO or or batch leads. My bad. Or just whatever I, I, you, you prefer. Guys, our understanding is you guys can go out that route. You you're going it's going to take you forever to make a return on your investment. I'm talking time wise. It's gonna take you months. If and, you know if you guys want to go the virtual route with using tons of leads, that's totally okay and totally fine. But again, you know, take everyone's advice here that knows what they're doing when we tell you it's not worth your time. You know, it's not. Yeah, virtual. Yeah, I don't, no virtual. In my opinion, I, see, I when when I started, I started. I started... Here, please, and let them know someone that actually magically somehow some way closed a virtual deal. Can you unmute yourself and let them know how much of a task that was? And you know, like, yo, you know, MC, you know, MC, MC. He's not gonna do it again. Say, I'm uh, it's a pain. My third, it's I'm a pain. My third virtual deal right now within two months. I mean, everybody got their own way, but yo, Kai, I'm on my you're, you're freezing. Kai, you said you have. That's it. You already closed yo, a virtual tripping? deal. I, I already I'm closed two. I already closed two. I'm on my third right now. Can you drop? How is it? Close? Yo, hello. You're still- I said, can you Yo, drop my mic is dead. Me? Hold on, hold on. My mic is dead. Just today, though. I mean, I'll talk to you about it, but I'm going to drop it in the chat again oh, for you. you. Did? That might have been Kyle. Yeah. I, wasn't act- I wasn't active at all until late, late night. I'm talking 12 a.m. No, nah, I got you because we, we, had, we talked about a few things. But um, yeah, we already talked about. Oh yeah, this. I want to see them if they act. If that actually worked, I'm curious as to how. Yeah, it's, you know, I got you. I've been in this sorry, industry but... a while, and I, I find it pretty much impossible. I heard you only do local too, right? Yeah, I've tried virtual. Oh. It doesn't work, and everyone I spe- I, I, I network mm. with, and you never. What was your before. method though? What was your or method? That virtual. You used? Yeah. Tons of leads, batch leads, cold calling. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I do though. I, I use uh, magic. Yeah, I was gonna I say magic for for VAs for a week. They, they're paid right. hourly, which is almost nothing. It, it doesn't work, in my opinion. Right. The process yes. was, you know, initialized logistically correct. How did, how did the leads get? Worked. I mean, how did how did the VAs get your leads? They were they were purchased from Fiverr. They were, they so were you valued, didn't. They were you, so you just. So you so, Wait, wait. So I'm saying you you didn't search your own leads to give them. Yeah. You just no. few of them. See, that's where you fucked up. At. I made my own. Yeah. That's I made my own list and sent so it to mean, them. You mean you make your own, as in county records based. No, nah, I just go on pro- direct from source is, is what I'm getting. I had someone from Fiverr that got them direct from source. They were they weren't. Hey, look, team. all I'm saying is ProtY, which is a free software, yeah. got me some deals. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. But I'm sending them Cal- to you though. Awesome. Like, Cal- no cap, there's, there's people in here that can vouch for me too. Like, I'm not no random. Bro, I, yeah, you can. I'll you be can. Talking to, I'll be talking in here to everybody, bro. When mm-hmm. people are not in here, when people doing their own shit, I literally spit game to everybody mm-hmm. in here. Y'all can vouch. I promise to God, I do. Oh God! Yeah, w- yeah, Kai. Kai, does. Kai does, but the thing is, uh, I mean, honestly, like, okay, yeah, but I'm, I'm saying it though, just, just virtual the works. Because I'm not the type of dude, like, yeah, I'm not virtual, virtual works is just your mentality. If you don't like virtual, then I mean, gave up on it. That's, it's that's obviously that's gonna take a long time. 
Yeah, Kai, what type of leads do you look time, for, man. though? Man, I bro, got just strictly vacant, bro. 